Hi, this is a quick preview of, of things you might expect in the next version of FXGL. Um, one of the new things is the Raycast technique. So there is a, a support for that now, well, which comes from the physics engine, of course. Um, I only did the binding to it. So what we have now is um, this um, Raycast technique that allows you to get the closest object from one to another, or closest uh, collidable object, as it were. And you can do stuff like object, object destructions, and certain blocks can be made uh, to ignore raycast. So, for example, like glass blocks, if you want to do some lighting, or I don't know, something similar. There's also um, an interaction between a physics entity and a non-physics entity. So those blocks that we just destroyed were physics entities, um, and the player is not. So the player is just a normal entity. Is being handled by FXGL's um, collision detection mechanism. Um, what else? So. Um, the, instead of the default rectangular shapes, you can now use chain shapes on um, uh, physics objects, physics entities, so that the collision between two rectangular shapes um, is uh, sort of much smoother and you don't get um, collisions on internal uh, vertices. But this creates another issue. So if we um, enter debug mode, you can see that certain particles went through um, the blocks, which are supposed to be solid. So it really depends on what you're trying to do. So certain collision shapes will fit your fit your game better than um, others. And so this pretty much looks like a decent decent um, ish kind of level from a platformer just because um, I downloaded those uh, sprites and used them instead of just plain rectangles. Uh, the next version of FXGL will be released sometime next week um, followed by probably this tutorial. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.